The Sustainable Built Environment National Research Centre is a unique blend of industry, government and research partners working across Australian industry with key links internationally. So Liverpool is uh, part of Sydney and is becoming Sydney's third CBD. It's the location of the new Western Sydney International Airport, which will be Australia's largest airport, and we're one of the fastest growing regions in the country. What we're looking at is an unprecedented moment of change, both in our CBD and then all the way out 20 kilometres to the airport. A critical part of Liverpool's growth is how we leverage the airport and how we support the airport too with workers, and with commerce and with our guests who are going to be looking to exit and enter through the airport. So we're really interested in how the airport is going to connect with the city centre. That's why we've become interested in new modes of transport like zero emissions buses, like trackless trams. It's not a train and not a bus, but a tram that doesn't need a track. Like buses, they have wheels and travel on the road, but they're electric, providing a much quieter and smoother ride that's better for the environment. Liverpool Council wants to use the trams to connect to their city centre with the new Badgerys Creek Airport. Now, trackless tram down 15th Avenue will bring people into our CBD and into the whole of the Greater West. The trams would travel 19 kilometres down Hoxton Park Road and then into 15th Avenue. The journey to the airport expected to take just 30 minutes. Right now, 15th Avenue looks like any other street, but very soon there could be a dedicated corridor in the middle for the trackless trams. The council says because this new system mainly uses existing infrastructure, it should be less expensive and disruptive than building light rail. So with the corridor, we see a great opportunity within our greenfields areas to have transit-orientated development, or what the Greater Sydney Commission call landscape-orientated development. Development that speaks to the surrounding landscape to create a landscape boulevard, to really bring those natural features to life, from the eucalypts and the nature of the trees through to that experience when you look off into the distance and see the Blue Mountains. Those are all things that we think will create a really unique corridor for people to live in and also for visitors as their first experience of Australia. And we've been really heartened by all three levels of government and our community really backing in this idea to look at a different type of growth, which is really only possible because of a mix of the airport and Aerotropolis occurring, but also the vision now for 15th Avenue, the 15th Avenue Smart Transit Corridor, to be this transit greenway. That opens up a whole heap of new opportunities. The opportunity differs from historically what we've seen is a really low density type of residential growth. We see the opportunity for people who want to choose to live in medium to high density to actually do that along this corridor. We think it's going to be a pretty appealing place to live, being relatively close to the new airport and the Aerotropolis and the jobs and connectivity that offers, but also being close to Sydney's third CBD and the university offering, the health offering, and of course the employment offering that we have here. So those sorts of transit oriented developments need a bit of a catalyst, and that's where the transport comes in, having a really legible, a really high quality transit spine between the airport and the city centre. A really early decision that council made when we recognised we wanted to explore the 15th Avenue Smart Transit Corridor was to see what other cities were doing. And that led us to Curtin University, to the work of Peter Newman and his team. And so we were really excited to work with Peter on how some of the theoretical insights from Curtin University and the other academic partners might be applied in Liverpool. It's been a fantastic way to engage across government and the private sector on how we can bring international best practice to Liverpool. This is going to be the world's first 21st century digital airport gateway and we want the corridor to have the similar level of technological advancement of best practice 